can't control it. Deary. Davis. In a very unaccustomed left side of the field as the mountain attack. Joyce. Francis. Quiet first 25 minutes for the Berlin number seven. As Monington. Finds Heath. Francis. Looking threatening for Berlin. Point for Roxdale this first one to five minutes as we approach half time. Burnley one, Roxdale nil. Danger still not clear for Clarence. Away by Francis. Sean Reed for Dale. In smartly. Appeals for a penalty waved away by referee Dawson. Booze from the Roxdale support. Didn't like that, I'm sure. But again, Tony. Roxdale just looking threatening on these. Quick fire attacks and these quick fire raids. Yeah, Burnley looking a bit dodgy at the moment in the middle of the defence. Ball knocked it in the air, so. Just break off this Burnley attack. Chances to make it two. Superb. First time shot. Fine. Quick fire move. Out of defence. Fine four. Fine four man. Four time move. Out of defence. Giving Burnley that two goal advantage. As on 44 minutes. Good move again, yeah, but Warren Joyce, the guilty man again, should have really uh, shown the game up. Just break off. Again, Algebarge on the end of that area. Campers fraying. In fact, in two different positions. West Thompson. Certainly, uh, certainly referee. Referee Dawson knows a foot up by a Rochdale player. Not quite sure who that was. And again, Tempo's getting a little heated here at Turf Moor. Well, I think certainly spoiling a spoiling a fine match. We've certainly had a fine, entertaining game here at Turf Moor so far. It's looking like a fourth booking this afternoon. That can only mean one thing for number two, Andy Thackeray. All going to receive the yellow card. from one another again France is involved I'm sure you can see all of this tempers well to say if you're a little afraid must be the understatement of the year I'm sure you've got a, a good a good view of all that under this come to position maybe a second second sending off the red card is in the hands of Alan Dawson looking like a second sending off looking like Alex Alex Dawson I should say Alex Jones number 12 Alex Jones certainly a rash challenge as an attempted handshake nice to see as it saved the day Mark Bunnington saying I think in all fairness may not have been a sending of the fence Greg Pars has been raised looking like the Rochdale substitute has been sent off still words being exchanged between Jones Monnington and referee Dawson well I've certainly seen a red card raised Mark Monnington certainly playing a very sporting role indeed well I certainly haven't seen this before uh, red card finally raised for a second time as referee Dawson has a word with his linesman Five figure gate here at Turf Moor. Deary can't find Francis, but fine skills by Francis. Russell, chances for the Clarets. Must be a goal. Burnley three. Rosdale nil. Open goal there for David Ayres. And again, he's stolen and marked. I think in all fairness to Rosdale, having to throw men forward as that final.
fine three-man move. I think a mistake initially by number 11, John Ryan, as he lost the ball to John Francis as he streaked down that right flank. Ball infield to Kevin Russell, who eventually found David Ayres sneaking into that penalty area. Again, another fine game from John Deary. Certainly Burnley's utility man reverting from midfield to defence. As again, Dale come forward. Lancaster looking threatening for Dale. Oh, fine skills by Lancaster. Must be a penalty. Linesman flagging confirming referee Dawson's decision as he points the spot. That foul on David Lancaster on 81 minutes, giving Rochdale a chance to reduce the arrears. Taking responsibilities for Dale, or is it number 10? Apologies there, number 10. Steve, Steve Whitehall to take this penalty. Find this penalty away to Beresford's right. Getting the applause of Alan Reeves. Martin Hodge certainly showing he's still a fine goalkeeper. Averting that danger. Davis just instructing to John Deary to calm things down. Time on Burnley's side as we drift towards full time. Burnley three, Rochdale one. Can Ayers make it four as he strives for that hat trick? Chance for Heath maybe. Penalty. Penalty claims waved away. Well, I think referee Alan Dawson, in two minds, seems to have second thoughts. He's finally given a penalty kick, I think, to Burnley. Still looking towards his linesman. Linesman over on that far side doesn't seem too, too clear. But I think I'm right in saying all oh, that will result in a penalty kick to Burnley. A chance for David Ayres to get his first hat trick for Burnley. Top quick word from Tony. Yeah, no doubt about that. Heath brought down and Ayres a chance to uh, be taking a match ball home with him tonight. As Ayres prepares to take this kick for Burnley, will it be a first hat trick for the Burnley number 11? We'll be making 18 goals in the League and Cup for the Clarets. Martin Hodge on his line as Ayres takes his kick as he puts it in his favourite right side. Once again, sending the goalkeeper the wrong way. It's sweet for David Ayres. As the Clarets clear their lines, two against two. Ayres, Heath, John on the score sheet. Superb first time ball. Oh. Rochdale keeper, smartly down, smartly down by Hodge. As that fine three-man move breaks down. I think referee Alan Dawson has had quite enough. As that will be the last piece of action down here at Turf Moor. A fine, entertaining game. Burnley 4, Rochdale 1. One final word about the year 1994. Are you optimistic that Burnley can be in one of the top two placings or at worst a playoff position come May? Well obviously that's what we're aiming for, that's what we're, we're trying to do, at this moment of time we are in that position uh, and we want to stay there, uh, of course we want to stay there and if we can go up in a, in, as an automatic promotion place in either first or second that'd be fabulous but at least the, you know, what we, the least what we want is to be involved in the playoffs at the end so we know our targets and we know what we've got to do. One final word, Chairman. We're coming to the end of another year. What have been the highlights of 1993, and what are your hopes for 1994? 93, if I had to pick one bit from the football calendar, I would pick the Tottenham match away. I thought that was absolutely magnificent. We were terribly unlucky, and we did a lot of things for Burnley Football Club in that day. Um, I thought the, the fans were marvellous, the, the players were obviously uh, played out of the skin and I think we did Burnley Football Club proud on that day and that's the highlight to me this year. And a wish for the future? <sighs> Not relegation. <laughs>